Hey everyone, and welcome back to another eShop Deals video. Now this week, we have a really interesting list because a lot of these games have never appeared on our eShop Deals video before. And although the huge E3 deals are over, we have still over 30 games to look at this week. Also, about halfway through the video, don't forget that we'll be announcing this week's winner of the $5 eShop gift card. Also, as usual, a quick reminder that I don't go over the deals that were mentioned in last week's video. And since a lot of the deals on the eShop do last more than a week, if you want to make sure you're not missing out on anything, it's always recommended that you also check out last week's video. And if you're wondering how you can actually participate in that giveaway for the $5 eShop gift card, all you need to do is check out my midweek under $5 eShop deals video. The participation is in that video. Last thing before we get started. I have a really bad cold that is affecting my voice, that's why there was less content this week. However, I'm going to try to make it through this video, be very steady and clear. However, if my voice cracks from time to time, I'm really sorry about it ahead of time. Now don't forget as we go through the content, if you like this content, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Now first on this week's list, we have Boomerang Fu at 86% off for only $1.99. Now, first of all, this game comes with a free downloadable demo if you want to check it out for yourself. But basically, it's a really fun party game for multiplayer purposes. However, the content isn't as vast as something as an Overcooked. It did get, however, a free update recently, so now the content is a little better. But it's a perfect time to pick it up at only $2 because this is a game that you can easily flip through for a quick couple of matches in between playing something else. Now next on our list we have the Borderlands Legendary Collection that is still 60% off at $19.99 and this is one of those deals that are finishing just in a day. Now if you want to pick this one up it's a great time, this is the lowest price this pack has ever been, you get all three Borderlands for only $20 which are some great looter shooters. Now next we also have the Outer Worlds that has a day left on the sale at $23.99, 60% off, the lowest price it's ever been, a beautiful sci-fi RPG. Said it before, is the Switch the best way to play this game? Probably not, but for the portability factor of handheld mode, I will gladly pick it up on the Switch. Next again from those 2K collections, we have the Bioshock collection that is also finishing up its sale, 60% off, $19.99. You get all three Bioshocks, by the way, you can also buy them all individually, the same thing for the Borderlands, so if you're just missing one, they are all heavily on sale individually as well, but the collections are really the best way to pick up these games. These are some beautiful, creepy FPS games on the Bioshock end. Next, we also have Jurassic World Evolution that is still 45% off at $32.99. And this is basically a park builder situated in the Jurassic Park universe. Great, a tons and tons of content because you're getting all the DLC in this pack. Even though it's a more expensive entry on this week's list, I would definitely say if you're into the park builder scene, this is a definite pickup. Next, we have Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville at 30% off for $27.99. Now, I think we should look at this game as an online competitive FPS. However, the competitive factor is maybe lower than other games, and also it's easier to get into to than most really difficult FPSs. There is a single player campaign, but it's really only to get you ready for that multiplayer experience. Now we're not going to go through all of them individually, but all the Naruto Shippudens are on sale this week for $5.99 because they're 70% off, the lowest price they've ever gone for individually. However, there is sometimes a triple pack right now that comes out for around $15 or $16 that is cheaper if you want to pick all three of them up. However, if you already own some of them and you just want to pick up one or two, this is a perfect time at only $6. You basically play through the Naruto Shippuden storyline, so this is for really fans of the series. Now last to round off those 2K deals before we go into some really new games for the list, we have the XCOM 2 collection that also has a day left, 70% off, lowest price it's ever been, $14.99 for some excellent tactical shooters. If you've never tried these and you're into tactical games, definitely give the XCOM 2 collection a try and you get really a ton of content for only $15. Fair warning for all these collections though, you have to have a lot of space available on your micro SD card because they're all 30 plus gig downloads. Now next we have Burnout Paradise Remastered at 50% off for $14.99. Now I love this arcade style racing game, it is one of my favorites on the Switch. The port is very very well done with tons of content here and getting it at 50% off for $14.99 feels really good value wise. 
Now, although I love Burnout Paradise, my true love for arcade racing on the Switch is with the Need for Speed series right now in Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Now, this was another port that was very well done. Just a fair warning, I said it last time that I went on this deal. This game, however, has already been cheaper than this. Right now, it's 30% off at $27.99. It is a beautiful arcade racer, but if you're really looking for the ultimate deals, it's already been cheaper than this price, so you could wait around. Maybe it'll hit a lower price once again. Now, next on the list, we have a series I was really waiting for a sale on, the Batman The Telltale series that is 60% off at $5.99. Now, there are the Shadow Edition that is also at $6.74, giving you a sort of replayability to the game from a different viewpoint. Now, this is more like an interactive graphic novel than an actual video game. And you know that normally I'm not into narrative stuff, but I really am a huge fan of Batman. So I was waiting for a sale on this to give it a try. And you know what? Because it's Batman, I fell in love with the series. It is really, really good. And if you're a fan of Batman or narrative driven detective style games, you should definitely pick this one up at only $6. Now, next on the list, we have the amazing Guacamole 2 Complete Edition, 70% off for $6.73. If you watched my under $5 video, we had the first edition at only $3.74. Well, if you want the follow-up that is even better than the first one, you have it here at only $6.73. These are some amazing 2D Metroidvanias where you basically control a Mexican wrestler. The visuals are beautiful, the gameplay is addictive, and it is also getting quite challenging towards the end, so just be ready for that. Now next, we have an amazing entry for fans of action RPGs. We have Ease 8 Lacrimosa of Dana at 66% off for $19.99, which is pretty much the lowest price it's ever been. And this is a great action RPG series, and this is probably one of the best entries. Now, if you were looking to picking up the ninth one and you wanted to get ready, but on the budget perspective, definitely pick this one up at $20. You get a ton of content for the money. Next on the list, we have the Takeover that is 65% off at $6.99. Now, this is a great 2D side-scrolling brawler on the Nintendo Switch. And on top of it, limited run games just launched pre-orders for a physical edition of the game. If you ever wanted to try it out on the cheap before dropping the extra money for a collector's edition, now would be a great time. If not, even just for the digital edition, $7 is a definite steal. Next, we have the Graveyard Keeper Collector's Edition at 50% off for $14.99. And you can probably tell by the title already, but you're basically running a graveyard. Yes, this is a sort of time management game, but with a fair bit of storyline also thrown in. Fair warning though, you have to be very patient because this game does draw out some of the quest patterns, taking you quite a while to do some very simple actions. So if you're into that style of game and you don't mind having to go through a few hoops for a simple action, Graveyard Keeper is an excellent pickup this week, finally at 50% off at $14.99. Next, we have the follow-up to the Telltale Batman series, which is Batman The Enemy Within, also 60% off, also $5.99. Same deal as the other one, you can pick up the Shadow Edition for $6.74, which I will strongly recommend for this week because the DLC is on sale as well. It's an excellent, excellent novel. Like I said, normally I'm not into these games, but these actually drew me in. So next on the list, we have Hypercharged Unboxed which is back on sale at 30% off for $13.99. Now, this is a game that actually blends first-person FPS with tower defense mechanics, all controlling toy soldiers. This is available as a single-player game, but also online with multiplayer co-op, and it is a great experience. What I love about this game as well is they regularly inject new content into it. So next, we have a really awesome budget entry for this week, with All Was Awakening at 60% off for $3.99. Now, this is a really awesome retro-inspired 2D action puzzle platformer. Fair warning, it does get quite challenging and sometimes frustrating towards the end, but nonetheless, at only $3.99, this is a definitely good experience for this week. Now, because I was a little under the weather this week, I actually tried out a few narrative games, as you saw from the Batman Telltale series. Well, I tried out another one, and this one also amazed me a ton. I don't know, maybe I'll finally get into narrative-driven games, 
but the return of Oberdin is also on sale. The sale isn't that huge at 25% off for $14.99, but I gotta tell you, this game really amazed me a ton. It has really minimalistic color-wise graphics, but it is nonetheless a beautiful experience. And if you're into detective style mystery games, this is a definite one to try out for this week, although it's a little bit more expensive. Now, next on the list, we have Guilty Gear XX Accent Core Plus R at 34% off for $9.80. Now, the Guilty Gear series is an awesome 2D fighting series. Fair warning though, it does quite take quite a while to master. So if you're going to buy this game and pick it up, make sure you're willing to invest the time to really get into the mechanics of the game because it does take quite a while to pick up. But once you do, it is very, very satisfying what you can pull off in this game. Now, next on the list, we have R-Type Dimensions EX, 50% off for $7.49. This is another game with a free downloadable demo. Now, if you like space shoot-em-ups and you like very difficult space shoot-em-ups, then this is your game for this week. With both remakes of R-Type and R-Type 2, which are amazing space shooters. However, as I said earlier, fair warning, they do become extremely difficult. It's what pretty much makes the R-Type series. However, if you have a tolerance for that, Give this one a try, you will not regret it. At this price, it's a definite steal for two classic games. Now next we have Green Hell that is back to 50% off for $12.49. Now this is a survival game set in the first person perspective. And last time someone told me that I failed to mention it, so I will not this time. Yes, it is tough as nails, but to me, a real survival game should always be tough as nails. So if that's what you like, if you want to experience it from the first person perspective, Green Hell is a definite game that you need to pick up. It is an amazing experience. Now, while we're on the subject of amazing games, the next one also falls perfectly into that category with Kaze and the Wild Masks at 30% off for $20.99. Now, I'm so glad that this game is back on sale because I get to talk about it again. I have a full review of this game on my channel and it is a truly wonderful 2D platformer that channels the spirit of Donkey Kong Country almost perfectly and almost at sometimes to a fault because it copies also the frustrations in some of the levels. Yes, because they have equivalents to those awesome cart levels in this game, but nonetheless, it is done perfectly in this game. It is an amazing game. Pick it up if you're into 2D platformers. I promise you, you won't regret this one. Now next, just before moving on, it's time to announce this week's winner of the $5 eShop gift card. And this week's winner will be Starboy84, who said, yo, these deals have saved my wallet when I don't jump the gun. I look forward to waiting on these vids now to save. And I thank you very much for the compliments and supporting the channel as usual. Now, all you need to do to claim your $5 eShop gift card is reach out to me in my pinned comment down below in this video. Now next, getting back to the list, we have Blast Blue Cross Tag Battle Special Edition that is 49% off at $25. Now, in my under $5 video this week, I had the entry version of this game at only $5. I had mentioned that there was a more complete version also on sale if you wanted all the DLC, all the extra characters to really get into this game fully. And well, here it is. Now, this is an awesome game. This is a 2v2 game rather than a 1v1 game that has you tagging in between two different characters. I would say this is one of the best ones you have on the Switch. My only personal preference would be Dragon Ball Fighters that I do prefer slightly to this game, just because the battle system is a little bit easier to pick up in that other game. But if you want a challenge, Blast Blue Cross Tag Battle is a definite excellent game. Next on the list, we have Cathedral that is 30% off at $10.49. Now this is a Metroidvania that released just recently on the Nintendo Switch. And I would say the only downside to this game is it's a solid game, it just doesn't do anything new in the Metroidvania genre. So if you're really into that type of gameplay and you'd like a new game to play through, just knowing ahead of time that there's nothing really new to expect, this is a really solid entry nonetheless. Now for the next entry we're going to look at Blast Blue Central Fiction Special Edition, 60% off for $19.50. Now we just looked at another Blast Blue title, but that was the Cross Tag Battle System. This is the general entry in the Blast Blue series. Now if you want some awesome 1v1 2D fighters once again, even though this one is more expensive, it is another great game to get into. Same warning as the other ones though, the battle system does take quite a little bit to get used to, but once you do, you can once again pull off some quite amazing combos. 
Now, next, we have a series regular. We have Val Ferris that is back to 60% off at $9.99, which is pretty much equivalent to its lowest price ever. Now, this is a 2D action shooter, and it is an amazing one with an amazing heavy metal soundtrack as well. If you're into 2D shooters, definitely give this one a try. Fair warning, it does get quite challenging once again towards the end. Now, next on the list, we have a game that is a port from the Wii U, and it is one I think that didn't get enough attention when it came into the Switch because it is really a great game all around. And that is the wonderful 101 Remastered that is now 32% off for $27.19. Now, this is another game with a free downloadable demo. If you want to see if this game can be your type or not, download the demo and try it. But this is a 3D action game that will have you eventually controlling over a hundred different characters at once. It is really a game that has to be tried to under to be understood, and it is really quite amazing. Now, next on the list is a game that I am really happy is finally getting a massive discount. Holy Potatoes, a weapon shop at 75% off for $3.74. Now, as the title suggests, you are managing a weapon shop and you're doing so in the potato universe. Your point is to make the ultimate shop expand throughout the potato worlds and basically become the ultimate weapon shop. Now, this is ultimately a great game. It has beautiful art. It only has one tiny issue. It's that you can tell that the game came from PC and some of the menus have been not properly adapted to the Switch. Not to the point where the game is unplayable, but it does become frustrating doing some of the menuing sometimes, which is why I'm really glad the game is finally on a massive discount because at $3.74, I would say this is a definite pickup for people that are into time management games and basically, you know, building games and to give it a try and see if you won't love it. I actually liked it a lot, but I did get frustrated with some of the menus. Now, next on the list, we have a game that actually just released, Super Magbot. It is right now 20% off at $14.39. And I've got to tell you, this is a game that I tried and loved a ton. I just haven't been able to record a review for it because of the fact that I've been under the weather. Now, it has a free downloadable demo if you want to give it a try. Now, this is for people that like challenging 2D platformers, and this one has a special twist. You actually can't jump at all in it. You have to basically move around using your magnetic gun. It is quite challenging. It gets extremely difficult towards the end. I would compare this to a Super Meat Boys type of challenge. Next, we have The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 3 and 4 that are both on sale currently. I'm showing you the third entry because this is the cheapest of the two at 45% off for $32.99. Now, these are massive turn-based RPGs and the storylines do follow each other. So if you haven't played either of them, definitely pick up the third one first. It's 45% off. The other one is only 20% off. They both, by the way, have downloadable demos, so you can always give it a try to see if it's your type of game first. But if you're into JRPGs, I am guaranteed you are going to love these. Massive storylines, a lot of content, two games that follow each other. Pick up the third one and hope that the fourth one will get on sale more massively by the time you finish this one. Now, next on the list, we have 20XX that is back to 50% off at $8.99. If you've played Mega Man X and you loved Mega Man X, definitely give 20XX a try. It is basically the exact same mechanics as a Mega Man X game, but thrown into a rogue-like design. Yes, and it works very, very well. It is tons of fun. You'll get hours of gameplay out of it. However, I would say the game isn't as challenging as I thought it would be if you are used to playing Mega Man games. Next, we're going to look at a bundle, which is the Double Dragon and Kunio Kun Retro Brawler bundle that is currently 49% off at $20. I just want to give you a fair warning. This bundle has already been $10 and $10 not so long ago. The value is still there at $20 because you're getting 18 titles. You're getting all the original Double Dragons. You're getting all the original Kunio Kuns, the sports franchises that have come from the Kunio Kun series. However, I do think that Arc Systems is trying to bank on the fact that Limited Run Games has announced a physical version of the game, and this is maybe a little bit more in people's periphery right now. So they're trying to bank on that fact and give a good discount, but not as big as it's already been. Now, last on this week's list, we have Power Rangers Battle for the Grid, the collector's edition that is 35% off at $19.49. Now, if you want a newbie-friendly fighting game to get into, 
this is your game for this week. And currently, this is the fighting game I'm playing the most online. I really love this game. Even though it's a Power Rangers game, don't be fooled. It is a really quality fighting game. It is a 3v3 fighting game, so sort of along the line of Dragon Ball Fighters once again. And this week, you can either get the base game at around $12 or this collector's edition at $19.49. I definitely recommend the collector's edition because you're getting a lot of the DLC characters automatically in there, and those are characters you're going to want to play as. So that is pretty much it for this week's list of eShop deals. Now, some of these games only have a day or two left to the deals, so hopefully you're watching this video just as it's coming out. And if you are, make sure to check the eShop when the deal is ending so you don't miss out. Now, I'm really hoping that my voice clears up in the next few days so that we can pop out some more extra regular content. But who knows, maybe I'll be able to force it and get some extra content out there nonetheless. Also, just a quick reminder, don't forget for the winner of this week's $5 eShop gift card to reach out to me in my pinned comment down below. I also really want to thank the channel supporters as usual. You'll be able to check their names out in the credits of this video. Memberships are now open. You can check that out down below. And just on the way out as usual, I want to remind you all that the best way to support the channel, hit the like button, subscribe if you aren't already, and hit the notification bell so you know when all my new videos come out. And lastly, I hope I'll see you in my next video.